a very important topic of finding the area of paths. I'm going to take a very basic question in this and subsequent to this we will take up some more videos on finding the area of path or dealing with paths which are made in rectangular or square plots. Now this is a, a basic question. Now this is square field and the area of the field is given to you. It is 4225 meter square. So the area of this entire field, square field, is given to you. And now we are given that there is a path inside the periphery of the park like this. It is made inside the boundary like this and the width of this path is given as 2.5 meters. So we need to find out the area of this path. I know most of you are very acquainted with the method to solve this question but how to solve this in very less time that is important when you attempt this question in competitions. Now see the area of the field that is the entire large square it is given as 4 root to 5. So the first thing is to find the side of the square so that we can find out how much is the inside boundary of the path. Now, since the outer edge is suppose A, then the area is given as 4 to 2, 5. So you need to find out what is under root of 4 to 2, 5 so that you have the length of the outer edge. How to find that? Now use the shortcut. Now see this number is ending with 25. So our answer will end with 5 and the remaining number is 42. Now tell me two numbers which are consecutive natural numbers and whose product is 42. 3 into 4, 12, 4 into 5, 20, 5 into 6, 30, 6 into 7, 42. And there we are, since this product of 6 and 7 is 42, take the smaller number 6. That's it. 65 is the square root of 4 to 2 5. Very amazing shortcut for finding the square roots. So now we have the outer side of the plot. This is 65 meters. And now use the width. See width is this side also. This is 2.5. And width is this side also. This is also 2.5. So on both sides we have 2.5 and 2.5 which is included in 65. So the inner edge that is B will be obtained by subtracting 2.5 plus 2.5 5 from the outer edge. So the inner edge is 60. And there we are. This is what was required. Now the area of path is outer area which is already given you don't need to square this again 4 to 2 5 and what is the inner area inner side is 60 so 60 into 60 3600 and here we have the answer the answer for the question is 625 square meters isn't that amazing a small shortcut of finding the square roots and you are able to find the area of the path very very easily. It is a similar kind of problem but the only difference is that this time the path is drawn outside the plot. So this is the plot, the shaded part is the plot and its area is given as 53.29 meters square and the path is inscribed on the outside of that periphery 
and the width of the path is 1.35 meters. So we need to find out what is the area of unshaded portion that is the area of the path. Now see the solution goes like this. See inside area is given as 53.29 meter square. So I'll assume the inside edge, this edge as small a. So small a square is 53.29. So a is under root 53.29. Now there is a problem, we have to find the square root of this number 53.29. How do we do this? Now again we are going to use a shortcut for finding the square root of this number. Now see two digits on left side and two digits on right side. So in the answer we are going to have one digit on the left side and one digit on the right side. So now we are going to use a shortcut to find the square root of 53.29. Now see 70 square is 4900 and 80 square is 6400 and the number if we do not count the decimal 5329 lies between these two squares. So our answer will lie between 70 and 80. So, the square root of 53.29 will start with 7 point something. Now, 7 point how much? See the unit digit. This is 9. So, either it is 73 because 3 square is 9 or it is 77 because 7 square is 49 in with which the unit digit is again 9. So now we need to choose either 7.3 or 7.7. .7. For that you can use another shortcut. Just check 75 square. Seven into eight is fifty six and two five. Seventy five square is five six two five, and our number five three two nine is smaller than five six two five, so our answer is seventy three. If this number would have been larger than five six two five, then our answer would have been seventy seven. A simple shortcut, and this is the shortcut through which you can find square roots of perfect squares very easily. So here we have the answer as 73. So 7.3 meters is the length of the inside boundary. Now once we have found out the inside boundary length, things are very very easy. Why? Because let us consider that the outer boundary is capital A. So for finding capital A, this 7.3 will obviously be there and on both sides this width will be added. What is the width of the track or the path? It is 1.35. So double of 1.35 will be added to the inside boundary. 1.35 on this side and 1.35 on other side. So A comes out to be 7.3 plus this is 2.7. When you add that you get 10 meters. And that's it. Once we have found out the outer boundary length, area of path is very easy. So, area of path is outer area, that is the total area, 10 square, minus the inner area, which is already given 53.29. So, just subtract 100 and 53.29 you will get the final answer as 46.71 meter square. So here we have the area of the path. So students we have used 
an amazing shortcut for finding the square root of decimal numbers using a shortcut which I have told you in some of the videos you can see the playlist of squares and square roots you will find this shortcut there and using that shortcut you have saved lot of time and found out the area of the path very easily so these are the methods which you need to master for saving time in competitive exams thereby ensuring success so if you like the video do share it and subscribe to the channel